This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Audible. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Ask the Buffalo. I am, despite not having horns and not being as furry as perhaps one, I am a buffalo. Uh, John Renger, you could ask me any question you've got from the world of technology and sometimes outside the world of technology. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about the Mono X and its wood backness. We're going to talk about some iPhone 6 business, some TV show questions, and some tips for YouTubers. And last but not least, some touch ID improvements. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's start asking buffaloes. The first question comes from Twitter. User at Sahik asks at John for Lakers. John, how well does the wood back in Moto X hold up in real life? Against water and general usage, is it a buy or not? It is, yes, a definite buy. And that's a good question. You figure wood, it might not hold up if it gets, you know, wet in the rain or something. I wouldn't throw in a toilet or anything. Uh, it holds up fine, like any other back. No issue at all. I assume the wood is treated. So, yes, if you want a wood backed phone, jump in with both feet. But don't bring the phone with you into the pool because you're going to ruin it anyway. And the wood back is going to look super bad. So hopefully that helped answer your question. So the next question comes from Junior Tobias 525 asks at John for Lakers, do you think it would be smart to wait for the iWatch before buying any wearable tech? Hashtag ask the beast. So I get these kind of questions all the time. John, should I wait for the iPhone 6? Should I wait for the iPhone 8? The reality is we don't know what it's going to be coming or what might not be coming. Uh, Tim Cook said new product lines are coming. Maybe it's a watch. Maybe it's a new pair of Apple branded sneakers. We don't know. I would not base your buying decisions based on products that aren't released. So iPhone, for example, you know a new iPhone is eventually going to be coming. iPad, you know a new one's going to be coming. At least you can sort of gauge when that's going to be. This is an unreleased product line, so really nobody knows. Uh, something out that you like right now, if you want a Pebble or whatever the new gear and it works for you, then I say go ahead and um, pick it up. Otherwise, if you're more fickle and you want to see all the marketplace, uh, you know, then you can wait. But if you're always waiting, you're never going to get anything. So hopefully that helped answer your question. Next question, Twitter comes from at Azeem Spencer, who asks, at John for Lakers, what do you think about the How I Met Your Mother farewell episode? And before everybody screams, spoiler alert, I am not going to spoil it for you. I've watched every episode of every season. I love the show. I think I'm in the minority, but I really like the ending. Uh, I thought it kind of tied it up nicely. Certainly, I would have changed a few things, but overall, I was pretty happy with it. Uh, there were some sad moments, some funny moments, but if you're a fan of the show, uh, I think that you should give the ending another watch. If you haven't started watching the show, I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but start watching it because there's a lot of good TV to see out there and a lot of Neil Patrick Harris, which really the world needs more MPH. Next, let's go to at Wanderin1, who asked at John for Lakers. My only question is, how can a smaller YouTuber become big? Well, you can go to the gym. You know, you could eat more. Uh, you know, that would probably help. Um, you know, you can use some kind of filters on the camera or, you know, some sort of funhouse effects or make yourself bigger. But if the question ends, my stupid jokes aside, probably is how to get more attention, uh, we've got a whole series going on how to sort of improve um, your YouTube experience, how to become a bigger YouTuber, how to get products and that kind of stuff. Uh, if you go to the main uh, YouTube channel, so youtube.com slash technobuff, there's a whole playlist there. Uh, advice for aspiring YouTubers, things of do's and don'ts, where our tech comes from, how to deal with the negativity. Uh, you can see the videos range from like way back in time when I looked like I was 12 years old, you know, to now and sort of see the uh, advice that I've given. Hopefully uh, that'll help you guys um, figure out how to become bigger and hopefully set you on the right path. We'll take a quick break to thank our friends, good people, well-dressed folks at Audible. They've got over 100,000 audiobook and spoken word entertainment to choose from. If you want to sound educated at parties, you want to read that latest romance novel but don't want to be judged at the beach, now is your chance to listen to books in the car, at the gym, while pretending to be at work or anything else you want to do, Audible's got you covered. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash techno to get a free audiobook of your choice when you sign up today. Yay! Audible podcast slash techno to get your free book. Don't be a dummy. Sounds smart. Now back to the questions. Let's jump next to at Smosh Ariana Pai, who asked at John for Linkers, do you think the iPhone 6 will have a better touch ID like improvements and relocation? So I don't know what relocation means. I think touch ID is still gonna be, you know in the home button, but I think it's definitely going to get better. I think even software alone will sort of improve uh, Touch ID, but as we jump to a next phone, uh, I think it's only going to get better. I think that's sort of the evolution of the product. Uh, Touch ID, at least for me, does not work all that well. Probably about 70% of the time, usually I have to enter my password the other 30. So it's not a giant pain, but it doesn't work as well as advertised. But I know, you know some people have said, John, 
You're crazy, it works every single time for me, so your experience might vary. I'm hopeful though software, maybe some new hardware thrown in, maybe some more sensors will make Touch ID work even better. But I would expect the next iPhone to make things better. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you want to ask questions on upcoming episodes of Ask the Buffalo, every Tuesday we post an article on technobuffalo.com asking for questions, you can leave them over there. Otherwise, you can send them to me, uh, at john for lakers or the company's account, at technobuffalo. Just use hashtag AskTheB so we see them. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. Till then. What's up everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.